All right, and welcome to Resource Slimes Devlog number five, and let's begin. The first thing I did, I added some custom ores via WorldGen and also made it configurable via a config file. So at last, you can finally get the gems. You can't do anything with them yet, but at least you can find them in the world. We've already wasted enough time. I was finally ready to go for the real big hitters. Fluid and energy handling. I wanted a custom tank as well as custom energy handling for my gem cutting station. I wanted the fluid to be rendered inside of the GUI as well as the FE shown inside of the block as well. So how did I fare? It actually worked out very well. We started off with the custom fluid tank and first displaying the number of millibuckets contained in the block entity as a number. Kind of like this. We already have something displaying here. You can see like this, right? It already connects to the block. So it definitely sees that this is capable of housing fluids and it works. Hey, let's go. The believers get the payout. That was really awesome already. Then I added a tank to the GUI image and wanted to display the texture. After some rather failed attempts, I decided to look at some GitHub repositories on how to do the rendering and luckily JEI had some really awesome classes that I was able to use and... Alright, after some more changes, we finally had a hovering effect and the rendering was also complete. Let's go! Now for both the fluid and the energy handling, we actually needed some networking and that kind of broke my brain a little bit, but I now do believe I understand how networking works, you know, for the most part at least. Secondly, the energy handling, that was, believe it or not, much easier than the fluid handling. I found two classes from immersive engineering and used those and voila, we also have energy handling done and display properly in the block entity GUI. Now the last two paragraphs actually sum up about 10 hours of work, so just to put this into perspective, what is great now though, after having done it once, I should be able to easily add new block entities with fluid and energy handling that should only take a fraction of that time. The last thing I did was I tried to come up with a cool idea on how I can implement power generation into my mod. I don't really want to have my own cables and all of that, so I thought of something a little bit different. How does this sound? There's going to be special slimes that are going to be generator slimes, right? And they are going to be, have different types, right? Maybe a pass generator slime that's just going to exist and it's just going to generate a few like maybe i don't know 10 rf per tick or something like that but what's going to happen is that that slime is just going to walk around and in a certain radius around it every block entity that is there is going to be supplied with energy and how it's going to look like is that it's going to generate these like tiny slimes that are going to hop along into the machine and then supply it with energy. And I might also have different types of energy slimes. So there might also be a coal energy slime, right? Which you just gonna feed coal to it or any type of fuel. And then it's going to also generate that. And then, you know, we might have all, have all sorts of energy generating slimes, um, you know, eating maybe like gems or something like that. I can't, I, I really like the idea. Like it's, it's such a cool idea. And if I can actually get it to work so that where like those tiny, those tiny like slimes actually jump to the block entity itself and then the energy gets like supplied there oh that would be so awesome like honestly it would be really cool i really like the idea and i was intrigued if this could actually work so i whipped up the new custom entity and once again to my surprise this actually worked as soon as i spawn a energy slime right here we should see this tick up we should see this tick up Yeah! Holy shit, man! It actually works! Whoa! This is so awesome. Of course, there's plenty of other stuff to do. I want to add some particles that go from the energy slime towards the machines. But still, this is already freaking awesome. And as per usual, I want to extend a big thank you to all my supporters on both Patreon and Twitch. You can support the channel with as little as $1 a month. You can also catch me live on Mondays and Wednesdays on Twitch, live modding some resource slimes as well as playing some games. Hope I will see you there. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. So, yeah.